With over 22 billion cards sold worldwide, I'm counting down the 12 most expensive Yu-Gi-Oh cards right now. Coming up. What's up there and welcome to a brand new video on 414YGO. In today's video, the 12 most expensive Yu-Gi-Oh cards right now. And hey, if you're new here, why not join the 414 community by hitting the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out. This list is put together from the most current and up-to-date lists that I could find on the internet at the making of this video. So of course, over time, the cards values will change. But before I get into the countdown, if you enjoy this video, let me know by smashing that like button. Let's see if we can hit 200 likes on this video. So with that being said, here's the list. So we're starting this list with the promo version of Doom Calibur Knight. Uh, this came from the 2006 Shonen Jump Championship. It's currently valued at about $700. Uh, this is an ultra rare card and still somewhat obtainable considering the price of other cards on this list. It was awarded to those coming in first, second or third during the competition. The Chinese Dark Magician goes for about $1,050. This card has been published in many languages, but not many cards have been printed in Chinese. There was only 100 copies of this card made in 1999. The card came out in conjunction with the Weekly Shonen Jump magazine in celebration of this well-known character, and it has been a sought-after collectible ever since. And you can't mention the Dark Magician, of course, without the Dark Magician Girl. Now, this one goes for about $1,100. And here's the first Japanese promo version of the card. And this promo card was given to tournament winners and participants in 1999. At number nine, we have Shrink. And this one comes at $1,200. And yet you could probably get this card really easily for about $2. It's a really easy card to get hold of. But this was, once again, another ultra rare version. Uh, it was awarded for the Shonen Jump Championships of 2006. First runs of this card actually commanded a price up to $7,000 on the extreme end of the scale. But the value of 1,200 is probably closer to the mark for what you're most likely to get for it. At number eight, we have Gold Sarcophagus. This comes at $1,372. Only 20 copies of the card were produced during the period of 2005 to 2006, and they were presented to winners of the two Yu-Gi-Oh championships. The first being the Pharaoh's Tour Championship in December of 2005, and the second being the Shonen Jump Championship. And also an additional two copies were made for the 50th Shonen Jump Championship event in Costa Mesa. At number 7 we've got Des Volgoth, coming in at $1,530. Once again, there was only 20 copies of this card that we know of at least. And this one was released at the 2005 Ferro Tour, which took place in 5 different countries. The winner of each tournament was given this promo card. Though not the greatest card in the world, it can be one extremely sought after by collectors. And has sold for as high as $2,000. At number 6 we have Minerva the Exalted Light Swan coming at 1900 This one is interesting as it's only a super rare card, yet still goes for a high price on the secondary market. I would have thought mainly because it's a more playable version, and of course the release of support cards brought it back into play, however I do hear that there is a reprint of the card coming out soon, so it'll be interesting to see if the value of this card drops. Originally obtaining this card, it was a prize at the Yu-Gi-Oh! Championship Series in 2015. Number 5 we have the awesome Crush Card Virus coming at $2,474. This was awarded to Shonen Jump Championship winners as a promo card. This one mainly kind of holds a special place in collectors hearts because it was actually featured in the Yu-Gi-Oh anime series. And as everyone knows that watches the series this is probably one of the most powerful cards in Kaiba's deck. And especially back then this card was really really hard to get hold of. So from a collector's point of view it was you know well sought after from you know how good a card it was back then as well before being nerfed uh, recently it, it could just destroy any decks that wasn't kind of built to, 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 to combat that awesome awesome card Coming in at number 4 is Cybersteam, going for $3,400, and that's for a rare promo version of Cybersteam. Like the majority of the cards on this list, it was given to the winners of the Shonen Jump Championship. And it's, it's believed that there's only about 18 copies of this card still in existence. Uh, there's been rumours that it's sold privately for as much as $7,000, and it was reported that in an eBay auction, this card went for as high as $23,000, which is absolutely crazy. This is why this guy grabs the number 4 spot on the list. 
At number three, we have Schooner, the Leonin Raken, going in at $5,999. This one was awarded at the Yu-Gi-Oh! World Championship in 2009. There are not a lot of details out there other than what's written on the card, but what we do know is that only six copies of this card exist. Two have turned up on eBay over the years, and those sales have pretty much set the price here. At number two, we have Armament of the Lethal Lords going for a whopping $8,000. And there was a report that back in December of 2007, this card sold on eBay for $1,200,000, making it the most expensive Yu-Gi-Oh card ever. Ultimately, this proved to be untrue, but it did give this card quite a name for itself, uh, which is true, it has been sold for about $9,000 and is generally regarded to be around the $8,000 range uh, in terms of its value. This card was given to winners of the World Championship Series in 2006. And coming in at number one, we have the tournament version of Black Luster Soldier. And, you know, most would agree that there's no other card that could have this top spot other than this, because this is the only card that's been printed on stainless steel rather than the traditional card that we know. No other card has had the honor of doing so. It is a one of a kind card. It was awarded during the 1999 Yu-Gi-Oh! Championship in Japan. The owner of this card was reportedly asking between 10 and 12 million dollars for it. Let that number sink in for a second. I will note that this is a rumour, but it is a fact that it did change hands for $2 million. But no matter the value of it, this one will remain one of the most valuable trading cards of all time. This one also deserves like an honourable mention or a tie for the first spot, as this is a card that there is only one of. This card is Tyler the Great Warrior. So basically, there was a kid in October of 2002 who was diagnosed with a rare form of liver cancer. And um, he was doing his best to like battle the the, uh, the illness and you know having all the treatment and everything like that. It sounds like a really brave kid. I think he was only like 14 years old as well. As they do, uh, Make a Wish Foundation learned about Tyler and his family's battle. Uh, they also learned that he was a Yu-Gi-Oh fan. Uh, they gave him the chance to design his own card. So Tyler drew up the card uh, and he kind of had himself as a warrior, an evil monster's weapon, uh, and 4Kids Entertainment saw the card and actually produced it in honour of Tyler. The good news, after the long battle, Tyler did beat the, the cancer he had and uh, is now healthy, which is also awesome news. But Tyler the Great Warrior card, just like the Black Luster Soldier tournament card, is a one of a kind card. And as for the value, I don't think Tyler will ever sell that card, but if he ever does choose to sell it, I can imagine that he will get quite the hefty price for anyone uh, that is uh, really into Yu-Gi-Oh card collect. So I thought I'd end that on a happy ending. But thanks for watching guys, this was my video of the 12 most expensive Yu-Gi-Oh cards right now. If you want more Yu-Gi-Oh fact videos, character deck profiles, duels and more, hit the subscribe button right now. If you found value in today's content, hit the like button, share the video with a friend, or leave me a comment in the section below. I'm on social media too, so let's connect over there. Thank you so much for watching guys, I will see you in the next video. Take care.